Okay, I caved a little bit. We're watching another one by Vic Tech. Um, I just got, well, as you saw in the live, uh, I just got onto his channel. There was a good, really good build, and then there's another good build, and another, and I had to watch. That's what this, that's, that is the whole reason, the whole aspect of his channel is I'm literally, I'm just going for YouTube. If something comes up that I go, you know what, I'm watching that, I'm going to watch it. And I'll chat to you guys, guys about it. We're all having a fantastic day. For today's build, we're going to be making a lightsaber. But not just any lightsaber, the original oh, so lightsaber. Bought some parts in there. One used in an Empire Strikes Back Fair and enough. a New Hope. Um, Hope you enjoy. But yeah, we're going to sit back. I was just going to check out what people do. Down the tubing, then we'll move over to the lathe to take down the diameter. First I've heard him chatting about what he's doing on the video. That's good, I like that. The original lightsaber was a camera flash tube made by yes. a company called Graflex. The yep, props true. department found this item and added some windshield wipers as the grips and thus the first lightsaber was born. Yeah. These flash tubes Graflex are incredibly, incredibly hard to get hold of. and highly mm. collectible and can run anywhere up to a thousand dollars each. And they cost a fortune, yeah. No, they do. They're, any graphics out there have been bought up. But yeah, they're hard to find and they cost a fortune now. Yeah, you're totally right. I'll use some blue marker to add the Graflex design, then the hacksaw to remove any excess material on the emitter. But when I first started making the Luke Skywalker one, this, this is exactly what I did as well. After that's done, I'll use a fire the hand file. sandpaper to refine the oh. shape. Exactly what I was doing. Exactly the same as me. Identical. Guy's got great skills though. Is that sandpaper or why No, it's sandpaper. There's, there's no difference between what he's doing and what I did. Apart from he's got slightly better tools. He's using leather to hold it in place. I used uh, some rubber, so actually the same thing. The the only difference is between what I did for this section, these bits he's doing now is um, I uh, I just drill a small hole and then I'd hammer through a piece of metal the right size and shape of the hole and actually like hole punch it through um maybe easier doing it his way i don't know no idea which would i do now i don't know i think i'll go with the whole punchy punch it. look how good that is look how nice that is God, what a good job he's done. I'll be interested to see what he does for, does for the bunny ears. Is that what the bunny ears? Oh, so he's just screwing them in place. That's way easier than what I have to do. With the bunny ears, I did end up uh, hand welding them in place, so... That looks fantastic. I mean, that is such a good bit of workmanship there. Wow. I did add some of the details off camera that included the raised buttons and the side tab. But now the top portion is basically done. That is beautiful. 
Now we're moving on to the lower portion. I'll use my indexing head to add six holes for the grips. Each pilot hole is spaced at about 60 degrees apart. Okay. Oh, that's for the locking mechanism in, uh, in the uh, switch section. So is he screwing those in? Because the holes are way bigger than those threads. It, yeah, it's just uh, really, really strong dual-sided adhesive tape. After all the grips are placed on the bottom section, this part is finished. Now the three main components of this saber are done. There are two different types of tapes uh. that are used on the clamps in the films. A textured mylar and a thin chrome. Both are accurate, but for this particular build, I'm going with the textured mylar tape. I would do as well, personally. I wonder if he bought that middle section off, he's made it. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Is it better than mine? The machining of the button, I'm going to be using my straight drilling tool once again. He's put a bit more effort into it than what I did in the, the design near the emitter. So, I'd say, yeah, not by a huge amount. Oh, he's making his own little button. Show off. This guy's got mad skills. It most probably took him a day or maybe just over a day to do this. That's uh, called tapping, he's putting a thread into it. So, yeah. Nice. Very nice, very neat. Would I make another one? If I had a workshop, yeah, I most probably would do. I did think about it, but... <sighs> he does approach some things in a slightly different way to the way I did, but he's doing an amazing job. Similar emitter to me. Similar type of thing. He's got to put those little brass pins in. I think I preferred my section a bit more than than his on there though, but again, absolutely nothing wrong with what he's doing there. Oh, he's a functioning one! Oh wow! Okay. I didn't know he was make, doing that to be a functioning uh, hilt. I'd give him a 9 out of 10 for that. I wish you'd shown us how you put those little gold pins and here in. here it is, the finished prop. I hope you enjoyed today's build. If that was you brilliant. Did, please remember to like, subscribe if you haven't already. That was really good. And leave good. a comment of something you would like to see done in a future build. Guy's Have got good one. mad skills. That's hollow, there's nothing there. So where's the electronics? Hey! It's so how's he got one that's all lit up and stuff? I don't understand. Oh, now there's a Darth Vader Anakin one, and I'm gonna want to watch him making that. Mm. 
really good. Really good skill level. That guy is brilliant. Am I jealous? I'm jealous he can still do them, and I can't. Um, but now he's, uh, I've got nothing but respect for the guy. Kudos. Someone that actually builds them. Fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic.